Andy Davies and Billy Phillips. So there you go, you have met the team, it's time to get Total Combat going with our first fight of the evening. For that, let's hand over to the MC, Andy Friedlander. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Richard Vella! Fighting in the red corner, Tom Ansel! <laughs> Boxing fans, let's size them up and count them down. This is Total Combat. Well, what a contest this promises to be. It's new, it's different, it's exciting, and this could be very, very unpredictable indeed. Richard Vella coming over from Malta, known as the Viper, and he's up against the youngster, Tom Ansell, the youngest fighter in the competition, 21 years of age. He's got the longest reach, but will that be relevant? Okay, fellas. Come on. Richie Davis asking the fighters into the, the middle of the ring. Both had your instructions in the dressing room yesterday. You know what I expect of you. Behave yourselves, do as you're told, and above all, defend yourselves at all times. Good luck to you both. Shake hands. Let's go. So the crowd are responding. We are ready for this first fight in total combat. We're underway. Six minutes, one round. And the sooner one of these two men delivers a knockout, the more money they will make. You can see the clock on the big screen in the background, starting off at £4,000. Richard Feller in the purple trunks, coming over from Malta. He's been a fighter for two years. And Tom Ansell in the white trunks, representing Hitchin, a sports science student from the University of Bedfordshire. And it looks as though he's taking... A little bit of early punishment, but now he turns his man. Yeah, cracking, cracking start as expected. Two boys coming out fast. Vela come out explosive. I think he got clipped a little right down the fan. So, uh, and as you expected, they go on and fight. They, uh, they want this money. Good, good job. He's switching. He's switching high and low. Well, um, Vela is. Good left up. I think I heard Ansel there, but he covered well. What's your head? Keep it out. So. Still five minutes to go in this round. Just give us an indication, Enzo, as to how long six minutes can feel in the ring in one go without a break. But to be honest, I never, I never, I couldn't really say because it's hard going three minutes, but these boys are going flat out for six minutes. These boys are putting everything into it for every second of every round. And as you can see, I think the fatigue's kicking in already on two of them. You know, they've loaded up, they put everything in to try and get this knockout. Oh, good exchanges there. Ansel trying to boss the slightly older man. Vela from Malta. In fairness, a real rising star of Maltese boxing. He's going to turn pro next year. He's been on the semi-pro circuit, so arguably he should have had the edge on paper, but Ansel is beginning to give as good as he gets. Yeah, they, but they both, but I give it to Vela, he's trying to push the pace, he's the one who's trying to pressure. I think Ansel's trying to catch him, like nice little counters. But the majority of the time, I think we've got Vela pushing Ansel up against the ropes. Stern words there by Richie Davis, who's a, who's a stern character. Just under four minutes to go. The clock now down to two and a half thousand pounds. Oh, good shot. Big shot there. And Ansel might well have finished this. Richie Davis having a good look. It's the mandatory count. Looks like he's recovered well, Rob. Just a flash knockdown. I think Ansel's going to pounce on him straight away now. But it's Vela who comes out first. 
Well, Ansel will take great heart from that. Good body shot as well there by Ansel. Surely he's got to get in and try and finish this quickly over the Maltese. Oh, what a shot. shot. What a shot, Enzo Macronelli. That's a wobbling, and surely, surely there's no way back from that. That's it, Richie Davis going to ask him to walk forward. If he can, I don't think he will. A shot with that, he walked forward quite well. Wow. Tom Ansel, the 21-year-old from Hitchin, has a really big opportunity here. He's got to give it everything now. Well, Vela, Vela's the one who's got to give everything because there's no way he can win this fight by letting it go to the end. You know, he needs to, he needs to catch Ansel, he needs to drop Ansel, he needs to score some knockdowns of his own. But at the moment, he's just in the corner taking punishment of Ansel. And Ansel's throwing a lot of punches. And he looked quite unsteady in his legs, Vela, then. And if you look for that, he's stiff leg. He's struggling to find any movement. Richie Davis taking a really close eye on this, and there's another big connection from Ansel. And Vela is in all sorts of trouble here. What Ansel seems to be doing, he's pushing him up on the ropes. He's waiting for Vela to just move his hands down slightly, and he's coming over the top now, right up all the time. Oh, he's aggressive. He's on the front foot. Tom Ansell can sense that this victory is his, but when will it come? The clock is down to just over two minutes. 1,350 pounds now. Every second counts. Good shots are two of them. Another, another cracking shot by Ansell. This is a great fight for the young yeah, Vela, Vela's done well. All credit to Vela, because I thought he was finished, and he's, he's come back well. And Ansell's showing a bit of fatigue. Good shots, sir. Nice to the pet. Right up. Well, Vela said he was a pressure fighter coming in to total combat. There you go. But he's been on the receiving end. Of quite a bit of punishment here from the 21-year-old. His, his, his pressure fighting style is what has caused him to be knocked down because we've walked on the two shots off Ansel. But, you know, all fair play to Vela. He's still coming. He's throwing some good shots himself. Ansel looks very fatigued. and You know, he's done a lot of work as he walked away there, hands down on his side. I think we're going to see that a lot tonight. Just over a minute to go here. The money clock is down to just around about 700 pounds. And Ansel just had a quick look at the clock as well. Then. So as Ansel tried to save himself for the last minute, but Vela's trying to rally here. He knows he's got to do something to impress Richie Davis. Just to clarify and remind you, no judges, no points, no draws. If they do complete the six minutes with both fighters still standing, the referee will decide the winner. That's what Vela needs to work for, for my money, as Ansel is winning this fight. Vela needs to keep it, keep it up, I think. No long left, 30 seconds left. Who needs to give everything goal, which he is. But he's walked on another shot there from Ansel. Well, what a fascinating first contest in total combat. Tom Ansel has had the more Hollywood of the shots, but Vela has rallied a little bit towards the end of the six minutes. So that's it, the very first bout in total combat has gone the distance. It will come down to the referee's decision as to which one of these two men goes through to the semi-finals. And it's the 21-year-old Tom Ansel. Does it certainly show that wrong? Well, I know the knockdowns don't score points, but it, show, it shows a legitimate bit of authority by the fighter. He, he, he caused the most damage. I think Vela caused the, used the most work, threw the most punches, caused the most pressure, but I think it was Ansel ultimately who produced the knockdown, which is what everyone's come to see. Well, Ansel was on the front foot. That was a superb shot. And you thought that it might all be over there. The second one, really hurt, hurt Vela. Well, you could see... Long. His legs just went, caught him high above the year. His legs sort of give way. Well, you could see the Maltese Viper was really rocked by that shot. So Tom Ansell, the 21-year-old, has come through his first encounter here at Total Combat, and he will now have a chat with OJ Borg. I think first off, I think we can say what a fantastic start to Total Combat. A great fight for two warriors. Tom, 
You had him down twice. Did you think he was finished then? Yeah, yeah I thought he was finished. Just wanted to go out for the kill then after that. But fitness, fitness is key in this. Just need to keep it up. How difficult do you think it is after a first round, six full minutes, it was full on there. How tired do you think you are going into the semi-finals? No, I'm all right. So it. So well, I think I think it's only right after such a fantastic first fight. If I talk to Richard as well, I mean you've come a long way for this. Knocked down twice, real heart of a lion stuff. Yeah, I, I mean I got knocked down, but he's not going to win the second time. I'll be back. He'll be back. Fantastic fight. Put your hands together for both fantastic fighters, both Richard and Tom. Great sportsmanship.